Thanks to you, we're America's most listened to talk station. Nielsen rated number one. 710 WOR, the radio home of the Mets. And iHeart Radio Station. This is Len Berman and Michael Riedel in the morning on 710 WOR. President Trump, good morning. Good morning, Len and Michael. Great to be with me this morning. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Kim Kardashian asked me to pardon you two as well. <laughs> <laughs> well that's, nah, that's, that's going too far. Okay? Uh, I appreciate the gesture. Hey, welcome back to the show, Mr. President. So I don't even know where to start this morning. How about the let's go with the Philadelphia Eagles. You disinvited them to the White House saying they disagree with your stance on kneeling during the anthem. Is that correct? Yes. Just like my own all pro defensive tackle, Sarah Sanders, said at the press <laughs> meeting, the Eagles, the Eagles are the one to blame for this, not me. You know, frankly, I thought it was all the concussions they had that made them forget to come to the White House. But my bad, my bad. At any rate, they really missed out. I mean, nobody lip syncs God Bless America like I do. <laughs> that was impressive. For a <laughs> Very impressive. Brush up on those lyrics, Mr. <laughs> hey, Mr. President, do you have any comment? On what LeBron James of Cleveland said, he says that no one wants to be invited to the Trump White House anyway. Well, last time I checked, you have to win in order to come to the White House. And after seeing the Cavs play, Ooh. LeBron will never have to worry about being invited. That, I tell you. Boy, taking shots at sports Whoa. guys, too. Hey, Mr. President, you recently tweeted that you have the absolute right to pardon yourself. Although, why would you do that? Because you've done nothing wrong. Do you, do you believe that? Absolutely. You know, this is totally ridiculous. Every time I bump into one of my Secret Service agents, I say, pardon me, pardon me. <laughs> All the time. Daily basis. No, I love pardoning guys. I may even pardon my golf clubs. You know, they don't always do what I want them to, but I can't quit them. I can't quit them. No, I understand. <laughs> we, we've seen that. Hey, House Speaker Paul Ryan said that obviously Trump shouldn't pardon himself. He said no one is above the law. Do you, do you want to comment on that one, sir? Paul Ryan. Didn't he retire like three months ago? Oh, wow. yeah. Somebody must have slipped Paul Ryan an Ambien, because frankly, he's talking nonsense again. I think Paul Ryan should pardon himself whenever there's a microphone in the room. <laughs> hey, Mr. President, how is your new lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, doing? He said that Mueller is trying to frame you. And he would be right about that. You know, Rudy's a brilliant attorney, and from time to time... I'm not exactly sure if he remembers whether he's defending or prosecuting. <laughs> I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. Whichever side of me he's on, he's doing a fantastic job. Believe me. Uh, sir, people have been concerned about the First Lady's whereabouts. Now, yesterday was Melania's first public appearance in 26 days. Is there any reason why Melania hasn't been seen that much lately? Uh, everybody's so worried. Where's Melania? Where's Melania? First of all, it's none of your damn business, okay? <laughs> Has she been locked in the basement of the White House making pickled salad? Sauerkraut with her feet and the rest of her Slovenian family that we keep down there all summer. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But again, it's none of your business. <laughs> hey, look, uh, big news. Your historic summit with North Korea is back on schedule for next week. Is that right? You know, I will tell you, it's such an amazing time for Kim's. Such an amazing time. <laughs> I met with Kim Kardashian. Next week, Kim Jong-un. And who knows, maybe the week after that, I'll be that old lady from Sex in the City, Kim Cattrall. <laughs> who knows? But seriously, I knew that Lil' Kim wanted to get together with me so bad. So bad. But I couldn't make it easy. I had to play hard to get. So I blew up his text messages. I blocked him on Twitter. And before I knew it, he sent me that giant letter, which had a pair of Dennis Rodman's panties in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. So desperate. Uh, uh. So <laughs> hey, now, Bill Clinton says he wouldn't change anything about how, how he handled the Lewinsky affair if it happened in the Me Too era. He walked his comments back after a lot of criticism. Any thoughts on the former president, sir? Look, Len, you know what? I've known Bill for a long time, long time. And sometimes he says whatever he has to to keep that sea hag of a woman he's supposedly Whoa. married to from Whoa. nagging him to death. Whoa. I mean, we're still friends, too. Matter of fact, I just saw him out in the hallway looking for interns. Bill, come here. <laughs> on the radio. Hey, tell him how close we are. I absolutely love this guy. I really do. <laughs> and I love you, too, Bill. You know what? We have so much in common. We really do. So much. We were both presidents. Yeah. <laughs> We both love to eat fast food, and we both really want to see your wife go to jail. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's true. That is not true. I used to love to eat fast food, but I'm vegan now. <laughs> oh, right. We got that. Hey, well, that's pretty good. It's like a ventral twist act. That's pretty good. You guys are close. I have no idea. Hey, got one last question. 
<laughs> I've got one last question for you, Mr. President. We want your take on uh, the Miss America pageant. Doing away with the swimsuit competition. Your comment, sir. Wait, they're not wearing swimsuits anymore? No. Ooh, very sexy. I love it. Now that's progress. <laughs> no! no, 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 no. See, they're, they're not. Uh, no, they're not new. I forget it. Never mind. Thank, uh, <laughs> thank, thanks for calling, Mr. President, and the other Mr. President. Two for Later. one today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very cool. Wow, two presidents for the price of one phone call. Man, that is fantastic. It's like it's like Bill was sitting on his knee and he had his hand <laughs> up his back. <laughs> that was very good.